is it all? He said professionally. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, looks good. Looks good. Welcome. Welcome to the sixth consecutive episode of Retrodome. Seems it was only six weeks ago that we began. Uh, today we're going to be doing some more <clears throat> quality retro games straight off the randomizer. We're going to start off with Super Ninja Boy. Should be fun. A uh, quick channel announcement. Uh, next Friday there will not be any Retro Dome. I'm going to see if there's another day during the week that I can stream. But uh, following that, it should resume on every Friday. Uh, so uh, let's just hop right in, I guess. Because, you know, talking about myself and my feelings aren't important. So let's get this thing going. Yeah. Alright. Sit there. <clears throat> okay. I'm pretty excited. I'd, I've only heard the name of this thing before. I know nothing about it, as per usual. The randomizer has not chosen games with which I'm familiar. Does that sound loud enough? It sounds a bit quiet. Okay, well, I mean... This already looks good. It's got that, uh... The most stereotypical, uh, quote, oriental music playing that you can find. Uh, yeah, let's just see what the deal is. Let's start the game. I agree. One player, Jack, also a traditional Chinese name. Uh, let's do normal. We're not scrubs. <laughs> Are they, though? <laughs> this already seems, uh, very, uh, you know, sensitive. <laughs> Joyful people are living happily in China land. One day, trouble arose in the peaceful country. I really need Melvin here to do the voice. Hear me goodness. A mysterious spaceship fleet covered the sky of China land. Why didn't they just call it China? What? A 3D image in the sky? Oh my goodness, it's Doc Brown. <laughs> Hello, people of China Land! <laughs> Made this better, boys. Please don't be scared. We are on a universal peace mission. I am the leader, Rubba Doc. Why? Why would you choose that name for yourself? Like, it sounds, it sounds fake, like he chose to be named that. We are traveling the universe to promote peace. People in China land, let's work together for universal peace. And as a result, a universal peace conference was held between Robert Dark and the Emperor Qin of China land. Oh man, this just gets better. Rubber Dog became very popular. He traveled all over China Land to promote peace. A Rubber Dog boom was on. No, I never want to say that particular order of words again. A few months later, the spaceship fleet and the Rubber Dog boom left China Land. A quietness returned. And we jump straight into conversation. Okay. I heard some trouble. a little while ago, but troubles now. Anyway, looks like me got a job to do. Let's go to Yokan. And we're off. Oh man. Oh snap. This is all Final Fantasy. Boom, boom, boom. I travel in the woods. I travel around. No, I didn't actually realize this was a, uh, I guess RPG style? Is this RPG style? Did I trigger a random encounter? I did! <laughs> this is factually incorrect. That's not a group. Unless if they're all standing uh, directly behind each other, Tuscan Raider style. Oh man, Bout? Yeah, Bout. Whoa. Oh, uh, this is cool. Damn. Okay, it is a group. You were right, game. They explode. My punches explode! Man, this is solid. 
get out of here. Wait, am I am I supposed to go somewhere? Whoa. We all have the same. Do I have to kill everybody? Okay, yes. There is an optimal number of people to kill. Eight EX points and 16 cent. See, this is actually quite interesting because, uh, I mean, this probably came out right about when, you know, these kinds of games were still pretty new. So, I mean, you can see some weird differences, even in, even in stuff like calling it bout instead of fight, right? Because that seems common sense now, but like, at this time, they're still figuring stuff out. Welcome to Yokan. Yokan do anything. Who's going away? I wanted to see him before he leaves. Only a few hard workers go out with girls. I wish I could go. You and me both, bro. I ten. Let's go. Welcome to my shop. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess those are health restoration. Let's, uh, actually. Do we have any equipment? Whoops. No! Go oh, away! Get up, get up, get up. Eh. Uh, menu, menu, menu is start. Okay. Magic! Magic Jack. Oh. Protector. Okay, okay, I got nothing. Okay, let's buy some stuff. Seeing as if we have currency. Get it. Is that it? Let's get a helmet. Seems like a sound idea. Uh, Bantam gear? I guess? Sure. Uh, and then how do we equip that? Oh! It auto equips. Nice. Status. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Slowly. Aura balls. <laughs> That's my uh, post punk grunge band. Many girls want to go out with me. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I go in all the houses or just the one? Let's see if we can get some info. Info dump me. Nope. Oh, it's free. Nice. That's cool. Okay. Uh. When Rubber Doc came here, I got excited at him. But I'm sad because now he's leaving. Uh, if you were paying attention during the prologue, you already left, girl. <laughs> he's a nice man. I'm in love with him. I'm too old for him, so. Man, Rubber Doc. Many men were taken, and my boyfriend was one of them. I'm very lonely. I'm just playing Neopets. <laughs> Convenience store. You will go on to the next level if you get... Oh. Change players? Okay. This must be one of those weird things, kind of like Donkey Kong Country, where you can't really play two players simultaneously. Most all the men were taken by thieves. Okay. Sounds like a plot point to me. You know about dragon eggs? Is this a euphemism? Even if you fall into a hole in the special field stage, you can restart with an egg from the beginning of the stage. Find it! Sure. Whatever you say, Gramps. Why weren't you at the front of the village, huh? You can give me that helpful advice before that. Uh. My family was taken by them too. I need someone to play a game. Sure. Can I interact with anything? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What's in here? Boop. They didn't even bother, like, drawing the insides of any of these houses, but it's kind of an interesting, uh, take on it. I am no true Domus. Nice. Something cynical about fortune-telling. 
here to help you. We'll see. Can we trust this crabby looking old man? What are you mumbling about? I'll foretell your future now! Mm, you have an important task of wiping out robbers. Go north to the cave in the mountain, to Horizon Gate, and find Rick there. Rick! Now take this magic escape leaf! Grind it up, snort it in a line! We believe your words, mister. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so in case if you missed uh, the inference from, you know, thieves stealing all the men in this village, you can go to No True Damas. Emperor Chin and I, I mean, it'll re be real, 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 real trouble. What's the matter, Your Highness? Robbers from Mount St. Pin in the east broke into the town and took jewelry and the prime workers away. I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't worry. In the back of this palace. Oh, that dude. We went to without an order. Oh, you again. Uh, uh, bu, 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 bu. Why do we have two doorways for one house? Who needs that? We can't go through two doors at once. What is this, The Sims? Super Ninja Boy. Super Ninja Boy. Oh, hey, new person. No, that's the guard. Never mind. I've never been so wrong. Okay, so we are supposed to go to that mountain. Part of me wants to just grind until we get a skin gauntlet, but... Bout! I think it's interesting that they give you a choice whether you even want to fight these guys. Yeah. Yeah, bro. These guys are tougher than the last ones. It takes a few more punches to make them explode. What are these guys? Like, it feels like I'm like fighting ducks or something. I want a question mark. Oh, it's cash. Nice. This is really, really interesting. Oh no, they got me. They got me. Okay, so I can punch these... That's so cool! Alright, I want to punch another thing. Get back here. Hmm. I guess I have to jump for that one. 24 EX points, 98 cents. Hey! We leveled up! Let's, uh, let's buy that last item. My RPG instincts are telling me this is the right thing to do. Item. So. Give me a sweet, sweet button. Oh, I think a dragon egg is like a, uh, phoenix down. Yeah. There we go. I feel like we're pretty well stuck. Ah! Commerce. Okay. Let's uh. This is a pretty cool game. I mean, I played 15 minutes of it, but it's pretty cool. I am not revolted by this experience. Dungeon, dungeon. Fight me! Yeah, let's take him. I wonder what happens if, if you try and run. Like, is it always successful? Okay. Time to beat up some scrubs. This is a really cool way to make it interactive. Man. I don't want to see that in more games now, that's real cool. Or maybe I'm just easily impressed. I choose you, Super Ninja Boy. Ooh. Yeah, let's take him out. Rather than out. What was that? 
What is that? What did I just pick up? <laughs> did I guy just fall off a cliff? Hello. Bah, bah, bah. Oh man, look how strong I am now that I leveled up like a real pro. That's right. You don't scare me. Just racking up EX and Sen. Fight him. You're only making me stronger. I wonder what those M's are though. It's unclear. Level three. My uh, theory of RPGs is that uh, just fight every single monster in an area, which is a little bit harder to gauge in a random encounter, but just fight every monster, and then you'll probably be the right level to just smoke whatever boss is at the end of the zone. My punches have the power of fire! Nice. Hey, treasure. Curses. Hmm. What's the skull? It's interesting, it's like the those are like the P blocks from Mario for some reason. Wrecked. Hmm. Interesting. Dragon helmet. Sack. Uh, also, it will auto upgrade uh, better, better equipment, I guess. It's a bit strange that the treasure chest doesn't disappear. It makes me think that it's still interactable. You're just like supposed to know. Still don't know what any of those do. But I'm too I have too much pride to look at a walkthrough is the problem. <laughs> I like their little facial expressions when you punch them. Satisfying for some reason. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about the intro. Like, I mean that was super racist, right? But I wonder what the developers were thinking, but I guess people didn't care as much. Where am I? Where am I trying to go? I think I'm going. I feel like I should have gone back and up. Whoa! What are these things? I'm gonna guess that they're fast. Whoa! Whoa! What? I guess an escape leap is to run away. How do I? How do I? How do I? What the hell? What the hell? Listen. Is this how I die? How do you... Oh, do I have to jump and punch? Nope. Nope. Come back here and say that, huh? Stupid little spirit dog. What? Oh, that did it. It's just uh, my poor depth perception, which will be the death of me. Come on. 
Come on! Get over here, huh? Okay. If I die here, I, I honestly deserve it. Let's escape, huh? Let's, uh, let's get out of here. NP! Good tutorial. Why did that work? Get back here. Get. Uh. This combines everything that I dislike about uh, Street Fighters. Not Street Fighter. Those, those uh, you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Nice. Revive. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are all alive. Nice. Oh, that's a surprisingly, uh, surprisingly nice, uh, forgiving death penalty. Although it did send me all the way out of that cave, which is rather annoying. Okay, I guess I still have to go in the cave? We're not gonna play this for too much longer before we switch to the next one. Because this game is definitely a lot longer than I thought it would be. That's okay. I might, I might look something up about this later. See if it's worth coming back to at a future point. I'm still trying to work out exactly how uh, long plays are going to work on this game and this channel. Okay, so actually, I'm I'm going to run a quick test. I'm just curious if we can get treasure twice since the box didn't disappear. Doesn't seem very intuitive, but let's just try and level up, I guess. <laughs> you think you're so tough? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I wish I knew how I was doing that uh, pick up and flip move. That's pretty rad. There. Rubbish. I want to know, like, the motivation of these guys. Like, are they affiliated with Rubba Doc? I don't know. This is just me. I am defending Chinatown. Oh, sorry, China Land. Wah. Wah. Okay, so I can fall down pits. Good. Why am I? Oh. Interesting. Hmm. For any of you who might be joining us, this is uh, Super Ninja Boy. Came out in early 90s on the Super Nintendo, and this is a show where we play through a lot of old Super Nintendo games specifically. There. There. We got a, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a hard out at 8.30, I think. Blah! 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 Maybe I should actually run from these things, but I just feel the compulsion to, uh... Well... This guy's uh, is not as easy as I thought. Oops. Okay, this is definitely one of those games where you can get sort of infinite stun locked. Am I gonna die? Not by Aztec Chicken Man. I'm a wreck you. Eh, get get over here so I can punch you in the face. Get over here. There we go. Hooray! And we're probably gonna have at least one more fight. Fight, 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 fight. Yep. <clears throat> Whoops. I didn't actually mean to hit Pallet there. Oh well. Let's uh, ruin somebody's day. Boop. Like, there's like a moment of sadness when you punch him the first time, like... Boop! <laughs> a little, nice little double take. And then I turn into Sonic! Oh. Treasure... what? Nice. Good. That's not broken. Whoa! 
Yeah, let's fight him. Never seen these guys before. Seems like a good time. Whoa. Why is he wearing sneakers? What kind of game is this? Okay. I learned a new move from those stupid dogs. Okay. That looked like a mini boss. Still no level up though. Ah. <laughs> Misleading. Yeah, let's go away. Oh. Okay, so it's not a sure thing either. I guess that's fair. Ah. Give me. Give me. No! So I hurt people when I do the little... Oh, that's cool. So you can throw them into each other. What a neat feature. Combos like this wouldn't be seen for another 30 years. Bah. Bah. There we go. You know, for a game that's called Super Ninja Boy, we're really not very stealthy about the way in which we dispatch of our... Uh... Come on! See, this works. Hey, we did. Hey, what do you know? Cowardice, cowardice. Come on, don't. No. Thanks. Thank you, game. Thank you, Super Ninja Boy. <sighs> Bwah. Bwah. Just get it over with. I just wanna, I wanna see what's outside of the stairs, huh? It's not that. I don't ask for much. I'm a simple man. I like the little jump attack. I mean, I do only have two moves, so if I don't like one of them, I'll just be sad. There we go. There's that level up. Now everything's gonna change. Okay, this time... Uh... You know what? I'm about sick of you. Let's see what's up here. I have no real reason for going this way instead of any other way, but let's just see. Okay, it's all kind of linked together. I'm doing this for the sake of the viewer. this money and nothing to spend it on. Why? Good. Nope. Nope. <sighs> okay. This We may die here. And if we do, we're definitely gonna change. I'm sorry. Oh man, now that we're level 5, we can't be stopped. I can't even tell where they are, though. Bah! What? Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! There we go. They never seen that move before. I'm just happy to figure that out. Hey, we did it! We killed the dogs. Now I just feel sad inside. Let's uh, let's uh, eat a sweet bun. Oh, we bought two dragon eggs. When we died, it used up a dragon egg. Okay, I understand. I get it. It's just like an automatic resurrection. You're only making me stronger. <sighs> well. big deal. I can take out these guys all day. Whew. 
Oops. I have much to learn. There we go. Easy. Where are all the men folk? Where have they been hidden? In this hellscape? I've just about had enough of you. I'm a master of combat. Level six? How does it scale? Ooh, these guys look mean. Rick is in the forest temple. Please come in. Gengai. I'm Gengai, head of the forest temple. Rick is my disciple. Oh yeah, we're looking for Rick. Please train us. The thieves must be rooted out at once. Very good, but you must pass the chamber of fire and wind. Training. If you're successful, I'll give you spider shoes. <laughs> it just gives you like a, a converse filled with black widows. Okay. You're terrible at making deals. Oh, hey, we're in the forest temple now. Is that what this is? Is it time to platform? Oh, shit. That's okay. Get up there. Get up. Uh, see, now what I should have done was listen to that girl and go to the convenience store. I made a mistake. Wah! Wah! Oh, hey. Like a real... You piece of... Get up! Get... You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Pretty sure that burned our last uh, res. Whoa. Whoa. It's okay. It's okay. We're probably gonna die. Piece of garbage. You idiot! Okay. You know what? It, you know what I think it's time for. I think it's time to. Uh, can't even save this. Okay. I can remember that. Okay. Listen. Listen. We're gonna. We're gonna change up games. Uh, the next game is TNN Base Tournament of Champions. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I don't know anything about it. Old Freeland, USA. Sounds fake. American Softworks. Funny to think that everyone who worked on this game is dead now. TNN, base tournament of a ch 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 champions. Look how big that fish is, man. I gotta go back. See how big that fish was? Look at how big that fish is. That's enormous. Anyway. Man, look at that smile. What is that? Oh, I almost thought it was a high heel for a second, but it's supposed to be a lure, I think. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, let's try that. Tournament. Let's do tournament. Don't give me any kind of tutorial, Super Nintendo. Let's just repeat the uh, images of, you know, the same five heads. Oh, okay. Actually, I had to press something. Hmm. What? That was it? That was the tournament? Surely you jest. What? 
Now the junior tournament is open. <laughs> you can participate if you place in top three. And then you can find two identical twins to hang off of either shoulder. You almost never see people like that at real fishing tournaments. Wait. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh... Did I do a cheat code? Oh. Interesting. There we go. It takes me to another screen. Can I control this at all? Oh. Listen, I, uh, this is very boring. <laughs> okay, so that tells me where it is relative, the little bar on the side tells me where it is relative to my boat. What if I wanna, what if I wanna drive somewhere? Come on, take me back, take me back. Okay, so... Live well? I try. Oh, I see, I see, live well. Okay, that's where we keep fish that we caught, I guess. Uh... The loading time is... Excruciating. Give me a tip. Give me a tip. Give me a pro tip. North. Hold out. <laughs> Good. Thank you, uh, George Bush Sr. Uh, listen. No. No. That's not what I wanted to do. But now I'm going to have to wait because the game will punish me for selecting it. Bait. Peanut cloud. Good. This all looks great. Uh, looks like my Pokédex is only about a third full. Exit. Man. I, I'm trying to figure out how they made fishing the game as boring as fishing. Yes. How do I? Huh? Ah, there we go. There we go. Let's, uh... Switch to fishing mode. <laughs> fishing mode activate! Oh man, oh man, it's a fish! No, 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 no. Get over here. Eat it. Eat the, eat the thing. Take the bait. How do you? Stupid fish. You garbage fish. Okay, so you can only bring it back towards you. Like real fishing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Did I get him? No. Pretty sure I did. 
No! That was surprisingly exciting. No, I saw there was there was two little like gauges at the very bottom, but I have no idea what they do. Let's uh let's try another let's try another location. How are these waits so long? For those of you just joining, we're playing through a series of Super Nintendo games. Uh, currently, we're on TNN Base Tournament of Champions. Okay, that sounds important. I've only recently discovered what the controls do, which has been a very exciting revelation. Oh, attach lure. Right, but how? Feel so smart, why don't you do it yourself? Tackle box. Yeah. We lost our previous lure trying to bring in a fish in the most inept way. Give me a lure. Aha. Let's use a craw daddy. <laughs> Why do these sound like weapons? Uh, let's try that, I guess. When you know nothing about fishing, you know everything about fishing. Bwah! Take it! Take the bait! Why are you not interested? I have no idea how that B and M thing works. Well, I think we've actually seen most of what we're going to see. And rather than wait through the menu trying to choose another lure, we're gonna try one last one. Uh, this one is actually a decently well-known game uh, that the randomizer chose. Earthworm Jim 2, but I've never played the original. It's supposed to be a pretty good platformer. I've only seen like screenshots of it. Press start. Sounds good. Anything but tangerines! I agree. Whoa. Is there music? There we go. Wow. Oh, they're doing the classic. that. Interesting. I know nothing about this game. Okay, okay. So let's figure out the controls again. Why is my weird gun? A is a whip for some reason. Can I do any kind of like... X doesn't seem to do anything. Some kind of secret. Ooh, another gun. How many guns do I Oh, I can switch between guns. Nice. Alright. 
And I don't know what any of these things are that I'm picking up. That's okay. Can I go this way? No, I cannot. Okay. Okay. It's actually a bit difficult to even see where I'm going on this thing. Like, what surfaces can I jump on? I guess this is the right way to go. Ah, there we go. Why? Why, why am I carrying away a pig? Why, why is this my life? Please explain. It's quite interesting, you can't really tell, but... Of course. Pick up the... <laughs> it's okay with... Can I go back and get another pig? I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. It's okay with... I don't understand why I'm doing anything. Let's put you on here too, huh? Okay, nothing happens. Why did I do that? I have no answers, only questions. Whoa, that's a weird guy. Nothing a little violence won't solve. Oops. It looks like the obvious way forward. Let's see if they've hit something over here. Yes, they. Whoa! Who are you? Oh, that's what they were hiding. Is it just a grandma falling down the stairs? Oh, I don't want to help her. This is strange. Unless we're on like one of those handicap access things. The movement is quite interesting. It's like, it's very uh, jumpy. There we go. Bonus. Bonus grandma. Why didn't you say so? Ooh. Ah, this is like a challenge level kind of thing. No. That's okay. That's just fine with me. Alright, okay, so then we want to speed up. No! <sighs> this better be a good bonus, that's all I gotta say. Speed up. Speed up again, slow down. Forward. Speed up, slow down. Uh, slow down there too. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have. You don't have to. You don't have to rub it in. That's all I'm saying. Let's go faster. Slow down. And then uh, slow down again. There we go. There we go. Easy. Only took uh, five tries. Why? 
Why did we do that? Okay, well, I mean, I guess now we can get those. Which I do want to try shooting at something, so there's that. Oh, I bet that's like a checkpoint style system. Pretty cool gun. Uh, why did I pick that up? You tell me! Come on, come back, Octopus Man. Mess it up for ya. Oh, so you can pick up cans of worms. Earthworms, perhaps. Uh, okay. Let's get over here. What? Why do they even have that? This is so weird. I don't understand. Why? Genuinely confused. What story are you talking about? Why would you say that there's a swing when there's no swing, huh? Uh, I do like the, uh, the music in this, it's just... I don't understand how you're supposed to get anywhere. I'd like to actually see like a playthrough of someone who's, you know, actually complicated. Not comp- why did I say complicated? Competente. Ah! I want to at least finish the level. Come on. Heavy pigs. You mean heavy ore? Where do I go? Oh, I get it. Just in time to die, Mr. Bond. Yep. Uh, why? 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 Oh, good. Come on, we gotta at least beat a level. Come on. I know, I know what to do here. I know what to do. I get down here and pick up the enormous pick. Then I run this way. Then I run up here. Yeah, baby. Right. Drop the hell down, man. Good. Ugh. This is what happens when you're brain dead. Let's go. I will use all my bullets. There we go. That'll teach him. Okay. You cannot destroy that, to my knowledge. Let's get another heavy pig. Let's see if maybe that'll do it. What they never told you was that you need two heavy pigs. Is there going to be some kind of boss? Is there going to be some kind of quiz? What is the point of that? Ooh. Oh, what? Did I just beat a level? 
<laughs> what? Okay. This embodies that Lil's random 90s humor we all know and love. That was quite weird. I don't know what to think about that. Oh, I can just shoot my way through here. Interesting. Ah, I get it. And it locked up. Well... I mean, this is a game that I wouldn't mind revisiting, but... Uh, we're actually at the halfway point of the show. So I think we'll, we're just going to finish off with uh, resuming our playthrough of Link to the Past that we've been doing for the past two weeks. Where the last hour of the show is a long play. I think I'm going to have to think how to redo that. But, but you know, as far as uh, the first half goes, I'm going to have to say out of the three, uh, following the tradition of three games enter, one leaves, I think Super Ninja Boy takes... Uh, takes the cake this week. I, I feel like maybe Earthworm Jim got shortchanged, but honestly, like, the visual design was actually a bit difficult for me to parse. Like, it... I don't know. Like, I played a lot of platformers, as my friends will tell you, and, uh, I don't know, I just feel like, um, it wasn't as clear as some of the, uh, platformers that I played, in terms of, like, directing you, which maybe means I'm a filthy casual, but, uh, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it worked as well for me. Uh, I quite like Super Ninja Boy. Uh, it just has some of the same problems that I had when I first started playing through uh, Final Fantasy 3, or I guess 6, as it actually is. In that, uh, it was just a little bit hard to know where to go. Like, I was just thinking, you know, if I came back to that game a week from now, I mean, I probably wouldn't really know where to go or what to do. And the frequency of random encounters is a little bit too high for my taste, but whatever. It is what it is. The base fishing thing, I think, tried a little bit too hard to replicate the uh, fishing aesthetic. <clears throat> I also I also blame myself for not really understanding the whole B and M meter or whatever those were. But that's okay. I accept that there are things that I cannot change. So uh, when we left off here, we just beat the second Dark World castle. So now we have the hook shot and the hammer. So we can access pretty much anywhere in the Dark World now. What we're missing now is the uh, Titan's Mitt. So we're just grabbing this little uh, other medallion. Oh, sorry, Quake medallion. The other medallion's on Death Mountain. And uh, so traditionally when I do a playthrough of Link to the Past, <clears throat> I like to go on a short detour in between castles 2 and 3 and 4 just to pick up some goodies and sort of power up, get a few secrets. This is also the slowest part of my playthrough because there's a couple sections here where it's just kind of luck uh, to get the pieces of heart. One of them is inside uh, Kakariko Village in the Dark World. And you basically just have to keep trying this guy's treasure chest game until you get it. And it's random every time, too, so... You might get lucky. Alright, let's, uh, let's get something up here. Wait, can I? That's the, uh... Alright. Wait, how do you... Let me just try something. 
just having a brain bubble for some reason. Uh, yeah. Right. I remember now. It's over here. Yeah, this is the one. For some reason. 20 rupees? Oh, bomb. For some reason I forgot where the ledge was here. Alright, there we go. So yeah, uh, for those of you who haven't ever played Link to the Past, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's one that I still play through often. I sort of have an optimal path to take through the game, <clears throat> where you can get all the pieces of heart, you can beat it in about five-ish hours, and uh, never have to go inside a shop or purchase any potions or anything. There's one piece of heart. Whee! Let's get our bomb back. That's one kind of cool thing about the magic blast here is you can actually block those thrown spears. Pretty rad. Sorry, I want to go this way. Let's uh, let's try the treasure game. This may take a while. Yep. Give me some. Nope. Give me some. Nope. Okay. Well, that was pretty much the worst outcome. Thank you. Let's go. This is a cautionary tale. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Sigh. All right, kid, choose well. <laughs> Piece of crap. This is where a uh, less scrupulous player than I would use safe states. Final play here. It's not like I got anywhere else to go. Herp and derp. But the way that this works out, like, there's there's a decent chance that you will get the hundred rupee drop. Why? So you don't end up losing that much money, and sometimes you come out a little bit ahead. There's a another mini game which we'll have to play south of the village. Similarly, quite annoying. Nope. Yeah, that's okay. But you'll need around 800 rupees to do that. Worst case scenario. Oh, sorry, 640. I'll I'll talk about that story later. Yeah, there we go. Got that piece of heart. All right. Where else do you want to go? Whoop. Let's go here. All right. So this, this is where I start to diverge a little bit, because I play this a little bit weird. Where I'll actually essentially beat this castle before leaving. I just need to remember how the ground floor of this place is set out. If I remember right, it's essentially four boxes. There is 20 rupees or something. Yeah. Die. So we're, we were in the bottom left, now we're in the upper left, and now we want to go over one. Yeah. Oh 
comment. I thought the rabbit thing would go away if it got me. Well, thank you. It's okay. I know where we can get some heals. There we go. Cool. So the three items we need. Let's go up. Sorry, let's go over and then should be on the upper part of the screen. He said confidently. It's a heart. Yeah. Okay, let's go up. Yeah, this is the one. Fun fact, you can uh, destroy those yellow s snowflake things if you uh, manage to make them run into a wall. Alright. Let's go up. And through here. kill you. Alright, go back. There we go. Let's go back through here. Now this is where the magic powder can come in handy. See that? That takes mastery. We lost our fairy back up in the uh, first dungeon boss fight. Took me a while to figure out how to kill these guys, too. You piece of shit. No! I refuse to accept this. Ah! Come on. Come on. You're stuck there. You little nerd. Oh. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, uh, do that, huh? Go all the way up. Go this way. Kill that thing. Go in here. It's more of my stay in the doorway tricks. Now this dungeon actually has a pretty cool mechanic where you have to sort of modify it uh, before you can beat it. So this is kind of the clue. So if you remember that first room that we went into uh, on accident when I was dashing through like a fool uh, and how it was just sort of empty of things, that room is directly above it. So now it's shining light down into the center. Hey, JP. Thanks for dropping in. <clears throat> you reached just in time for the nerd is part of the nerd cast. Uh, previously, we were playing Super Ninja Boy, uh, Base Tournament Fisher, Blood Royale, Champions, Super, I don't know. Pretty good. It was not a great, oh, uh, well, hello. Blah. Yeah, it's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, right now we are in the, uh, collect them all phase. Uh, you, you were here last time, actually, and uh, when we beat the second dungeon. So between the third and fourth, there's a lot of cool things that you can collect. So uh, I usually go to the fourth dungeon before the third. 
Whoops. Don't want to go there yet. Oh, right. <laughs> I think bass is correct. As in tapadap bass. Huh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, look, it's a princess. Bye. <laughs> we don't need you. Uh, let's go back here. Ooh, treasure. Give me that. Yeah. Actually, Super Ninja Boy, I think, was my favorite from the rando games. Uh, it was surprisingly not bad. It was like Final Fantasy, but instead of doing turn-based combat, then it suddenly became like a side-scrolling brawler. It was pretty cool. Uh, the base fishing was somehow more boring than normal fishing, in that you can't actually eat, you know, what you catch. Uh, and then Earthworm Jim. It seemed like it had like a lot of polish mechanically and in terms of like the you know, overall design of it, but um, I don't know, it was actually just visually really ugly, which I think was actually kind of the intention. I don't know, it was, it was a little weird. I wouldn't mind trying it again, knowing more about what I'm doing. So, so the glove that I just got from that treasure box lets me pick up these dark colored blocks. So now these areas are all open to me. So I save this dude, and if I take him to the light world, Oh my goodness, he's a little, a little dude, a little smithy dude. And then I can take him inside this shop. And he's missing his partner. Hero, drop by here again. At that time, we will temper your sword perfectly. So this is actually an optional upgrade to the master sword that you can make. If you find that guy in the dark world and bring him back. Otherwise, you'll jump straight from this to the final form of the master sword. Master sword. Hero. Hey, you. Hey you! Welcome! Ask us to do anything! Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was like the it was the ugly is cute and like the lulz random thing of the early nineties. Okay, so right now I'm swordless. Boop boop boop. But we can get a couple secrets here while waiting for them to temper the sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the Master Sword. Upgrade the Master Sword. Yeah. I, I sense the irony. Uh, let's see. Boop. <laughs> what is this? The Mediocre Sword? <laughs> hey, blast you for waking me from my deep dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Er, is that okay with you, sir? <laughs> Little bipolar there. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic draw where power power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. <laughs> Are you my mom? So uh, you can sort of see in the upper left the magic bar now has a little one half on it. So all of our magic usage will be now cut in half. For nice. <clears throat> that will be important later. It's just a quality of life thing. Alright, we can get a secret here. See all these stakes in the ground? Well, five-year-old me decided to pound them all down into the ground. Wow. I do appreciate how the chickens also turn into skeletons once you finish uh, going to the dark world. Yeah, the hands of blood. Some kind of weird fairy in there. Boop. Okay, I got a piece of heart. And then we can go back into the light world. There we go. Boop. Your sword is tempered. Now hold it up in the air like a fool. Aw, oh, yeah. 
The sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power flowing through your body by the power of Grayskull. Boop. Uh, this is my favorite version of the Master Sword. <laughs> that would make sense, I guess, John. Yes, time of the month. That's why it's alternating between, like, being nice and trying to kill me. So there's one more secret in here, which is this little chest. This key is locked inside the chest. You can never open it. Just take it with you. Great. DLC. <laughs> this is actually the first uh, mention of a loot box in video game history. Alright, let's go. So we need to take this to a dude in the desert. So I'm, I'm saving you quite a bit of exposition, dear viewer, because, uh, you know, as a kid, you end up, like, I ended up wandering all over the map here, and there's a guy in the desert who talked, oh yeah, new companion, nice, who, uh, mentions that he used to work for some thieves. <clears throat> so if you go to him with this box, he can lockpick it for you. The box is actually a robot. Oh yeah, wait, this is the guy. Holy crap! That's new. Ah! <laughs> this is an awkward tableau. <laughs> I heard you knew I used to be a thief, right? Well, I'll open a chest for you, will it? You keep it a secret from everyone else? Would you please promise? No. That's the way you want it. I hope you drag that chest around forever. Oh crap! <laughs> Wait, keep it. Tell it to everyone. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the magic bottle. Okay. Ah, oh, you jackass! Get up! Get! Get! If you kill me, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. There we go. <sighs> High stress environment. Ah. Keep spawning on top of them. Idiots. There we go. There we go. There's one more secret over here. So th this game is all about this mechanic, about uh, finding uh, places where you can go there in the dark world and it's different enough from the light world that you can get these secrets like this. So there's three of these pillars scattered around the world. Sorry, only two, actually. And they give you these special medallions that you can use. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just a jerk. You know, they, that's true, but like, you missed it maybe, but in the first week... <laughs> uh, I believe you mean his non-binary outfit. Not gay outfit. Um, no, because in, uh, in the very first one, when you're talking to the guy in the monastery who's sort of keeping uh, Zelda safe, he mentions that Aghanim, the evil wizard, is magically controlling the soldiers. So I, I kind of feel bad killing these guys. I don't know. <laughs> they don't really have much of a choice, I guess. Magic! Let's see. Whoops. The trees here are assholes, too. <laughs> see, look, if I talk to one of them... Yeah. Trees hate you. Quit bothering me and watch where you're going when you dash around. Okay. <laughs> yeah, progressive outfit, that's right. Well, this looks suspicious. There we go. This is actually a mine. Can I not? Eh, eh. Can I hit it with a boomerang? Nope. Can I hit it with a hook shot? Nope. But I can't stand on it. Boop. <laughs> Reforming with your master sword. Heh, <laughs> maybe. There we go. Hmm. And we're back. There's a couple more secrets we're gonna get, then we're gonna go to the next castle. Uh, there's a dude in here. Mwah. Yoink.
After wandering into this world, I turned into this shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to, I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for... Oh, good thanks. <laughs> you borrowed a shovel. You can dig in many places. You never know what you'll find. That's true. Objectively true. However, I know exactly where it is. Oh, look, it's a little, it's a little uh, non-binary child. Boop. Oh, look, it's a flute. <laughs> Phrasing, yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful little song. Hmm. My love language is phrase. I mean, words back me. Thank you, butts. I never told you my name. You just look like a butt. <laughs> but it looks like I can't play my flute anymore. <laughs> That's a euphemism. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it to a tired old man you will find there. Well, my mind's getting hazy. Guess it's time to die. Well, thanks for dropping in. Have a good gig. And then he turns into a tree. Alright, cool. Thanks, man. Go through here. Alright, so this bit is uh, a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> so, um, there's this game basically where you're supposed to dig in this field, right? Dig as many holes as you can in 30 seconds. Uh, so, my friend and I discovered that, uh, well, we were trying to figure out, like, what is the optimum number, and, you know, what's the optimal way to dig? to get the piece of heart that's in this field. So what we did was, we just kind of estimated, so like we counted how many divots there are in a row, roughly, because as you can see, the fence is a little uneven in places. And then we sort of did a statistical check to see, okay, so if it's randomly uh, positioned every time, how many times do I have to play uh, if I dig in the same space for me to find the piece of heart. And we figured out the maximum number of times statistically that you have to dig is eight times. So, that was the first one. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, for any of you who might be joining us, uh, this is Retro Dome, one of Polarity Bear's channels, and we play through old Super Nintendo games on Fridays. We also do other shows throughout the week. Uh, my friend John streams Monster Hunter World on Wednesdays, although that game may change, and on alternate Wednesdays, we're going to be playing uh, Bargain Games. Actually, the first one of those is going to be this coming Wednesday. And then on Monday, uh, there's sort of a long play that my other friends do. So, although that day may change, and we'll be updating the schedule if it does. Jobs. Jobs! A job well done. It's only 80 rupees to play. Well, I guess it's better than a stab in the eye with a sharp stick. Boop. Boop. This is actually the uh, prequel to Spelunky. Come on. Give me that piece of hot. Eh. Eh. I know it's here somewhere. Come on. Oh yeah. Well, that's three times. At least we're doing okay in terms of cash. It's a pretty hefty sum every time. This is actually like the last significant thing in this game that you actually have to spend money on. There's a place where you can uh, 
artificially extend uh, your capacity for carrying bombs and arrows, which I like to do just for style if I've got extra cash, but it's not really necessary. If you're if you're good, you don't really need much more than the starting amounts for arrows and bombs. That's not to say by implicit association that I'm that good, but it's my opinion. Yeah. Dig, 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 dig. Nope. Okay. Maybe it's the next one. I feel good about the next one. I think it's uh, I think it's gonna be good. I think it'll be great. I wanna dig. Uh, by the way, just as a quick reminder, we're, we're going to announce this on the uh, show notes uh, that appear under the video. But next Friday, there won't be Retro Dome. Um, I'm going to see if I can do it another day during the week next week. But until then, uh, worst case, the next next Friday after that will be streaming again. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. All right. <clears throat> that to me is what it's like playing collectible card games. <laughs> you spend you spend 380 rupees. You spend 480 rupees. And you finally get Nico Bolas. Bold ass. All right. Uh, next we need to go talk to this guy. So the kid who we got the flute from is actually this guy's son. It's my son's flute! Did you meet my son? Where is he? Is he alright? Oh, I see. Well, I can tell what you want to say by the look in your eyes. Would you keep the flute and will you play its sweet, sweet melody for the bird in the village square? Oh, that's nice. Bye. Guess I'll take your dead son's stuff. No hard feelings. And this is how you unlock fast travel. Oh yeah. I've got the biggest cramp! Bye. Alright, so now if we play it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We're gonna get a secret here. Uh, I hate these little guys. Hate is such a strong word, but I do feel it. Thanks, bro. We're gonna get the last medallion here. So we don't have to go out of our way again. Plus, it'll be useful. I'd rather just get it now, not have to worry about it later. We're going in. <laughs> Okay. Guess we're gonna have to use the uh, piece of crap. The portal outside the village. John. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Did you ever uh, play through this whole game? <laughs> it's one of those games that I play through uh, every summer. Sometimes more frequently than that, if I'm just going off of emulator. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of ether. Boop. Man, those SFX. This is the other medallion. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Oh man, that's sad. No one should lose a Zelda game. Uh. By the way, just so you know, uh, we are currently um, getting ready to take on the third dungeon in the Dark World. So, gonna try and kick some cam. Man, how how'd you lose it though? Like, like moving or just kind of disappeared? Yeah. So I'm I'm kind of going through my uh, optimal path playthrough here. Oh man. Uh, that's sad. Curse you. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we, we still have this on cartridge on Super Nintendo, but yeah. So the 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 idea of this playthrough is to play through it without uh without ever going to a shop to buy anything, and also never using the lamp to light anything. <laughs> uh. Whoops! I didn't actually want to do that. Uh. Whoa! 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 Ah, physics! Okay. Blah. Blah. Yeah, this this dungeon has the annoying hand, which later shows up in the N64 version. Oh, I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet. I really want to. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for, like, I haven't bought a Switch yet. I've been very tempted for, like, over a year, but I haven't been able to bring myself to it. I've been settling for uh, playing Ocarina of Time on the uh, 3DS. Have you played Breath of the Wild? Is it good? I mean, I've heard great things about it, but I haven't talked to a lot of people like personally who've been playing. Uh, am I supposed to go down here? This dungeon is a little bit tricky because there's a lot of places where you can like just fall through the floor. Ah, yeah, okay. I think I know where I am. Barely just fell. Oh yeah. No, Mario Odyssey almost made me cave. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> 23 hours? Wow. That sounds super dope, though. No, everything about that game looks great, though. Like, how deep the crafting system is, and, like, how they really, like, encourage you to try, you know, like, different things and weird play styles. That's super cool. Whoops. I think... Well, I guess I'm gonna have to murder this guy. Ugh. Yeah, I really, really want... Oh, whoops. Derp. Herp, derp. I really want to play Super Mario Odyssey, though. That looks great, too. Uh, I've, been, I've had an itch to play, like, a good, you know, 3D platformer for a long time. I played some uh, Hat in Time on Steam. I don't know if you've heard of that, but that was pretty good. Alright. Yeah. Not huge on open world games. I haven't played very many uh, open world games either, like, yeah, Hat in Time is really fun, like, it's also just very creative, because one thing I've noticed is in a lot of those kinds of games, uh, it's just like the same, it's the same kind of kinds of worlds, if that makes sense, like, you know, there's always like an ice world, then there's a fire world, and there's like the forest world and stuff, but like Hat in Time has some really like weird, weird themes that are great. Yeah, yeah. Well also when I compare it to ukulele, which I don't really understand all the hate that ukulele got, but at the same time, I do see why it gets like called out for not being as creative as it could have been. I did enjoy playing through what I, whoops. I did enjoy playing through at least what I, you know, the first couple worlds of ukulele. Like, it was pretty fun. Okay, let's kill this nerd. Kill the hand when it comes down. Come on. Where are you? Where's the hand? Ah. Get out of here. Yeah. 
I heard that they're making a uh, Spyro remake. I really hope that comes to the PC, although historically whenever they try and port that kind of thing to the PC from the PlayStation or whatever, it kind of suffers. Eh. Yeah. Banjo and Kazooie is a great game, although that's another one of those games that I ever really got to play at like friends' houses. Yeah. Yeah, one of my childhood friends had Spyro. It was a pretty funny game. Yeah. But it, it's very much in the mold of those games, like, you know, Banjo and Kazooie and stuff. <laughs> Collect all the things. And combat is kind of a token activity next to, you know, platforming. Uh, Alright. So we got the big key. As you'll notice, I'm also not consulting maps at all on here. Uh, I think this is how we get to the treasure. <laughs> Whoops, that was unnecessary. I've never played Ratchet and Clank, actually. How is that? And how do I get... Yeah, I never got to play Ratchet and Clank. Okay. Is that the one that they remade recently? Or was that like... Oh, no, there was like Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. I missed out on a lot of PlayStation era. Whoops! Didn't know it had bombs out. Okay, cool. Hmm. <laughs> the film, really? Lol. You know, there's a there's a great uh, podcast that I've been listening to, and I don't I don't normally listen to podcasts either, but it's called uh, the Life Toyetic. It's really good because it, it basically is these two very sarcastic but very funny, great people talking about uh, films specifically <clears throat> that were uh, made for toys, you know, just for the purpose of selling toys. Very funny. So they did one for the uh, Masters of the Universe movie. They did one for, uh, like, some Barbie movie recently. They also did the Pokemon movie. It was quite good. Okay. Yeah, like Max Steel, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's quite good, because, like, I mean, so far it is sort of like a, just a bad movie kind of podcast, just because those movies do tend to be terrible, but I don't know. It's, 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 it's a nice angle, I think. Okay, so it's not this hole. There's got to be a place where I bombed the wall or something. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> Lol. Wrecked! Oh, whoops. Oh! Wait. I think I know. I think I get it. Have I seen any good films this year? Hmm. Good question. What have I watched this year? I watched Black Panther the other day, which I thought was quite good. But and like, I, and I'm I'm glad that it like it's done things like you know, really made a, a solid movie with you know just fully African American, not African American, but you know like actors of color be very representative. But. I've got some reservations about, like, the Disneyfication of films, which I see happening. Where, like, they're good films, but they don't really take very many risks. I don't know. It just feels very, like, sanitized to me. Even though it's, like, a great movie. Like, it's good entertainment, but it doesn't feel... Uh, it's, it's missing something. I don't really know how to describe it either. It just doesn't really feel, like... 
someone's artistic vision, really trying something creative and risky. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the factory-made feel of Disney films. Yeah, and this is my concern, too, for the Star Wars franchise. Because that's what it is now, it's a franchise, right? So, yeah. Like, and it's never gonna end as long as they're still making money. So you can sort of get the Marvel and DC effect, where it's difficult to take risks, because you, to some degree, you have to play it safe, because there's so much money riding on these things. Yeah, the Rogue One problem, yeah. Yeah, all that I wanted from Rogue One was just to see Ocean's Eleven in space. That's all that I really wanted. Yeah. I feel like I haven't watched any films that were... Oh, I, I saw this... I saw this film uh, called... Uh, I think it's called, like... What's it called? It's, it's called, like, Emily Goes West or something like that. It's, like, it's a film... Starring Aubrey Plaza? Yeah, yeah. No, yep, that's a very good description of a Rogue One. Two hours of white noise and then a dope ending. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, it is? Okay, yeah. I watched it through alternative means. It's not bad. It's like, uh... Oh, wait, I forgot. I, I, I can cheat. <laughs> Oh, Ingrid Goes West. Yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a satirization of the whole, uh, you know, Instagram my life attitude and generation. Yeah. The thing is, like, <laughs> some of it feels too real. Like, I know it's clearly supposed to be satire, but I feel like there's people like that. Like, <laughs> but essentially it's just about her, uh this sort of mentally unstable girl who ends up, like, stalking this girl on the in-universe version of Instagram and then trying to, like, gain her approval by sort of copying her life. And it gets very, like, twisted. It's very... It's pretty funny, but it's just very dark. Yeah. I feel like... It, like I said, I feel like it was too close to reality <laughs> to really be completely satire. I don't know. I hope people aren't like that. Uh, I hit you with the fire rod. Eh. Boop. Boop. There we go. Now, one of these guys has a key. I think it's the... Whoa. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. Go to Cali, they are. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen any... Oh, I have not seen the Blade Runner sequel, actually, now that you talk about it. How was that? I saw that they scooped up some awards for cinematography, right? Like, all that I've seen have been, like, stills and stuff, but, like, it looks fantastic. Ah! Please don't hurt me. I am just a boy. Uh. Uh. Missed him. Got him. Got him. Oh. Nice. How 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 would you compare it to the original Blade Runner film though? Just curious. I've heard that it was a little bit polarizing to some people, like, not not polarizing so much as some people just said it was very slow, but that's never really been, like, a barrier to me when I'm watching films, because, like, I mean, it's pacing, right? Like, I, I enjoy sort of the slow build, as long as interesting things are happening, like, there are elements in it that, okay. But, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? How's that for a conversation opener? Uh, this is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. 
if the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can... Okay, fine, 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 fine. Buh, 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 buh. It's patient and takes his time. Never struck me as boring. Okay. That's good. I feel... I'm... I wonder sometimes with films like this, whether when people complain that it's slow, it's just because the trend now for movies is just to cram, you know, information down your throat. And it's got to be so, like, everything's got to be at just like a breakneck pace. If there's any, like, lesson to be learned, they need to tell you what the lesson is. I don't know. Like... I, I, I'm all in favor of, yeah, rapid fire cutting, yeah, I'm all in favor of just letting people think for a little bit, like, you don't have to make it so explicit, it's fine, M make it a little ambiguous, take a risk, don't show your film to test audiences and then tweak it accordingly, make something that you'll stand by, I don't know, have a little artistic integrity or something. See if I can sneak out this way. Woo! Woohoo! Okay, I think we've got time to beat the fourth dungeon before the end of stream. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Do you think being racist is bad? <laughs> Yeah. But I mean I guess I guess it's a good message to have. I don't know. Like I, I'd rather that a film like that gets made that has a positive message than, you know, the opposite. So something to be said for that. That being said, I really like the world design that they used for Wakanda. I thought that was rad. Cause like uh, I, I listen to a lot of this band called uh, Parliament. I don't know, Parliament Funkadelic, and they had this whole like Afrofuturist thing going on in the 70s. It was pretty sick. Like Doctor Funk, uh, the clones of Doctor Funkenstein. Pretty solid album. I saw some like uh, VHS footage of them like at one of their concerts in the 70s and they let down like a friggin' pyramid spaceship onto the stage at the beginning of the concert. Super rad. All that I want is to be in that band. Uh, get back here. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my uh, dungeon life hack. Get over here. There we go. Oh man, Parliament Funkadelic? Good stuff, man. You should, uh, if you gotta listen to a Parliament song, probably their most well-known one is, uh, Flashlight. They got a lot of good stuff. Uh, I recommend listening to their uh, Mothership Connection album, I think. For me, that's one of their most overall, like, just solid albums. Here. We don't have to go up the stairs here anymore because we already blew a hole in the floor. And then we go here. No wonder everyone's so hostile to Link. Uh, I'm gonna try and actually catch that fairy. Oh, well, nope, I'm not. That's not gonna happen. How about now? Nope, it's gone forever. Yeah, so. The way that I like to describe Parliament Funkadelic, and I, oh yeah, man, that bass. Uh, their bass player, they had a couple bass players, but one of their main bass players was Bootsy Collins. That is a man to listen to. He's he's great. Like he wears like these star-shaped sunglasses and a top hat. It's kind of my spirit animal. Um, but yeah, the way that I like to describe Parliament Funkadelic is, I'm, I'm a big funk fan, uh, and uh, I like to sort I split it sort of into two camps, so there's like Earth, Wind, and Fire, 
well, I guess sort of three camps. There's like Prince, which is a little bit lighter, uh, almost popish funk, to me anyway. But I guess that's the Minnesota funk sound or whatever it is the music critics like to call it. Uh, then there's Earth, Wind, and Fire, which to me is like sort of the jazz funk. It's like very complex. They got some really cool like jazz harmonies they put in, but they make it sound very accessible. Like it's it, like the complexity doesn't put you off. It just adds to like you know the depth of what they're playing. And then you've got Parliament and Funkadelic, which to me is very like tribal funk. I don't know if that's a word I can use. But yeah, a lot, lot of like chanting, just like repeat those like funky funky riffs a bunch of times. A lot of energy. That's a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to expose her for who she is. Too bright. <laughs> man, she just she just got light sensitivity issues, man. Cool. So the backstory of this boss is that uh, she's actually was a bandit leader in the light world and somehow got stuck in the dark world. Again, this is all handy backstory that I can tell you because as a child I played through this game and listened to all of the NPCs give me backstory. Ooh, oh, whoops. Uh, I, I'd like not to die, please. Ah, uh, I might die. Yep, that's okay. That's okay. Because I got a fairy. Boop. Boop. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. I just need to get one more hit. Come on. Get over here. There we go. Wrecked. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I announced it a couple times earlier in chat, but I don't think you were viewing then. Uh, we won't be streaming on Friday next week. I'm busy that day, sadly. But I'm going to try and find another day during the week to stream. So uh, we'll post on the Polarity Bears Twitch page. And I'll also share it before going on, but I'm going to try and find another day in the week to stream. Just for next week. Yeah. Thanks for watching, by the way. I appreciate it. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the knights. Uh, it is ironic that the last one in the line. <laughs> sure. I don't think I'm going to destroy Ganon. I think it will be the uh, digital photo revolution that destroys Ganon once and for all. Woohoo! We did it! We did the thing! Hooray! Alright. Alright. Oh, hey, thanks, thanks. And thanks for watching. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm glad you enjoy what we're putting out. Hopefully, it continues to improve. I got some ideas to fix up the layout on this thing. Get rid of that uh, endless black void behind me. So it's actually 10 p.m., so I think, I mean, I'm not going to be able to beat <laughs> the fifth dungeon of the Dark World between now and 10 p.m. Hey, thanks. Wholesome. <laughs> My parents would be proud. Uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to be wholesome. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I mean, I my my thought is hopefully with consistency, uh, then we can maybe start to get a little bit more traction in terms of viewers. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think what we'll do is we'll save the fifth dungeon of the Dark World for next stream. Should be next week, probably a bit earlier in the week. And I think I'll uh, sign off here. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, those of you who watched. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Can I change this? Yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot for uh, dropping by. And uh, have a great weekend. This has been the Retro Dome. And...